I know Simon for 11 years and I know he doesn't like giving interviews but I'm going to try and get the answers I really, really want. I, I know Simon for 11 years. <laughs> Hello. Hi Priya, how are you? Alright, nice one, Lexi. So are we, we going to do this? <laughs> you were on Piers Morgan programme and I'm not sure I believe everything you said. If you thought that was tough, you haven't seen nothing yet. Okay, do I have to go ahead with this? Okay. <laughs> Firstly, I want to know if you will be back as lead judge on the X Factor this year. Uh, do you know what I'm trying to do? I'm going to see maybe if we can maybe move the dates around so I can do both shows in the future, because I do miss it, and they're not as good as me. <laughs> You're doing Britain's Got Talent at the moment. Have you found anyone good yet? Do you know, amazingly, yes. You know, I like Ronan. I thought he was good, the kid who came second. but. It wasn't a great year, so uh, that's why I thought, okay, got to come back, got to freshen it all up, make it younger, yeah. uh, and actually, we found some really, really good people. Um, I think, is Louis in the room? Yeah, yeah I, th I think we found, Louis, better singers on Got Talent this year than The X Factor. <laughs> when are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the truth is, nobody will marry me. Come on, that's not a straight I promise answer. you. I must that have asked, I've probably made, counting this year, 65 marriage proposals and no one's ever said yes, so it's probably not going to happen. Um, how many grey or white t-shirts have you got? I am the worst shopper in the world. If I find something, I just buy like 20 or 30. Like this, I've got about 30 of these. Uh, do you know Primark or have you heard of it? It's a football team, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, it's Louis actually shops there, interestingly enough. <laughs> Primark. You shop at Primark, don't you? Really? No. I was collecting your clothes, though. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever going to change your haircut? Well, I did, I did try once. I, w I was on a, on a holiday once and somebody cut my hair so badly I had to have it cut really short. Um, but um, I don't think it suited me. Do you always have your buttons open when you have shirts? Uh, it's part of the contract I have with ITV. I have to unbutton my shirts, otherwise they don't pay me. <laughs> How you many... are trouble. <laughs> What's the worst thing you did at school? Oh, God, how long have we got? <laughs> uh, I was... I never did my homework. I uh, always used to pretend I was ill. This is what I used to do. My mum's sitting here, so she'll tell, she, she'll, she'll tell you what I used to do. I used to get a cup of tea. I used to put it on my head. So kids, watch this. Like this. OK, and then, and then I go, Mum, Dad, and they come in. I go, can you feel my head? I think I've got a temperature. <laughs> now, my mum always knew I was lying. Mum, thank you. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> Just needed a yes. Um, is it true that you take um, oxygen to make you look younger? What do you think? <laughs> no. Uh, no I, I, don't, I don't take it to make myself younger. I actually take it because I get, I get tired during the day when I'm all doing auditions. So you can buy liquid oxygen. So I just take it. Um, and uh, it wakes me up and also makes you, do, makes you look much younger as well, so it's double benefit. Um, you've been to Christopher's, what do you, you like the best about it? I like, you know, every day's different. Will you come again soon? If you invite me. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to have an invitation. You've Never go one. anywhere without an invitation. You've got one for me. Deal, then I'm coming. <laughs> um, do you have one thing that you haven't done that you like to do? One thing that I can't, um, that's a good point, um, parachuting. <laughs> Would you like to go on I'm so to get me out of here? Do you know what, there is not enough money in the world, <laughs> literally, you could give me France and I wouldn't go on that show. I seriously, I couldn't do it, it's like, it's literally like torture and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Do you think you've been honest? No. <laughs> Thank you. <sir. laughs>
You're good. Hey. Yeah, you're very good. Good questions. No wonder I knew you looked guilty when I sat down here. We are here for, now this is like speech therapy for me, shooting star chase. Nothing could be nicer than to come down here and, and meet some, some of the children and if it helps bring money in or puts it more on the map, that's great. Places that are joy to behold, they're places full of love and devotion, they're places that um, do so much for so many that are really up against. Got involved probably about five years ago, I think. The screening of one of Keeley's TV things, and uh, there was we saw a film about um, Chase as it was then before the St Christopher's Hospice near Guildford, and we were um, just struck by what a lovely place it seemed and how brilliantly the staff looked after everyone, and we got involved. So very nice to be here. We have we've met we've met Zoe. We've met Beth, yeah. Rachel. We've met Rachel, and we've had photos. It's been, it's been we've really held a gold nice. medal. Yeah, yeah an Olympic free. gold medal. It gives them a chance to get out of their everyday surroundings, and also maybe to see a couple of celebrities, which I know is quite exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing some. I hear there's some in the room. Interesting conversations uh, over the last few days, and somebody who, who said yes, said, I would if you paid me $50 million a year. I can't tell you, but it was like... I chased Beyonce. Actually, okay. when, when we, we, we let Louie go on the show... Are you me? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is I shouldn't have done it, you know, because... Get that on camera. It's on camera. It was actually boring without him. Um... You know, I got I got talked into it because uh, they wanted to change the show oh, up. They said they wanted to make it younger. What? <laughs> they wanted to make it younger. No, they said much younger. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it it actually got boring, uh, and I and literally within an hour of filming without him, I just said, you know what, I can't do this. This is just boring, and. Uh, and I had to phone Louis up and I said, do you want to come back? And he said, I've got my suitcase. Case <laughs> <laughs> by the door. Was he literally ready. had yes. his suitcase by the door. Yeah. yeah. And I love doing the Do you know what? The winner of X Factor number one. Okay. Whiny, ungrateful. Pub singer. Um, just a really, well, we really not yet. Yeah. And, and I really worked hard with him on the show.